I also have news. <laughs> I posted yesterday, but now I'm recording a video to just explain a little bit. Um, I have added a whole bunch of stuff to my shop, readings and healings mainly. I also decided impulsively, well, in consultation with Spirit, to do a Memorial Day sale as well. So kind of like celebrating the all the new additions to my shop, I'm doing a Memorial Day sale for the next week from today until next Friday, okay? Um, so you can snatch up any of those if you like. Um, so I'm gonna go through what I added real quick. I added Spirit Baby Readings, which I don't know why I wasn't guided to do it until now, but Spirit guided me to do it now. <laughs> so Spirit Baby Readings. So honestly, like almost whatever questions you have, since I'm going to use the Spirit Chat, I do have Spirit Baby Oracles I'm going to use as well, but I'm primarily going to use the Spirit Chat to have a conversation with your Spirit Babies and Spirit Guides. And that can be, you know, it can, honestly, like even though most people think about babies that they're going to have, it can also be babies that you lost um, or traumatic situations like that too, you know? So, you know, any of your, any of your questions for your spirit babies and what the future holds, and they'll give you guidance as well for your present circumstances. I also have a combination of the spirit baby reading and womb healing. So you get the spirit baby healing and then along with it, a womb healing that is meant for um, a combination of preparing your womb if you uh, have any spirit babies coming anytime soon. So preparing your womb for them, especially because the twin flame spirit babies are of higher vibration and are more crystalline. So our bodies do have to be prepared for them. And then it'll also be womb healing for any traumas that we had um, from pregnancy, miscarriage, stillbirth, abortion, anything like that. So it'll be healing those traumas and preparing the womb as well. Okay. Um, independently from the spirit baby reading, I also have just a womb healing on its own. And the womb healing I actually found really interesting from spirit because it's not as simple as you would think. And it can be for both men and women too. Um, the womb space is the sacral chakra. And men have that as well, even though they don't have a womb. Um, so the purpose of it is besides what I just said, like it, it, it can be used for the purpose of actually preparing your physical womb for pregnancy and healing from the birth traumas. Um, but it's also for um, embodying your true authentic self and remembering who you truly are um, on all levels through all your past lives and your higher self, your multiple multi-dimensional embodying your multi-dimensional self and empowering you in that way so um that's the one and it's also um activating dormant spiritual dna the heart i have a heart space healing as well that is similar except you know the heart space connecting you with your etheric heart center and um i'm trying to remember everything here i have notes but i'm trying to remember um helping to break down any walls around the heart chakra that are preventing from completely opening up to um, true love and divine love um that's also activating spiritual dna it's helping with unity consciousness and kundalini and i feel like there's something i'm forgetting as well but all the details are in the listings also okay so that's the heart space healing and connecting with your twins um higher etheric heart chakra as well or higher etheric heart space however you want to refer to it okay so i've added the reading that i told you guys about that i'm really excited about it's funny because i i don't the, the purpose of the reading is going to be different for each person as they receive it as they as you are guided to it and I, the reason why i'm excited about it is because this my spirit guides are so excited about it like this reading is 100 percent coming from the fairies and merlin because merlin has started working with me and through me a lot as well like i connect with a lot of ascended masters and you guys know that i always talk to jesus but merlin has started working with me as well so this reading is specifically from Merlin and the fairies and any other elementals that wish to come forward during this reading. I actually, I saw a fairy earlier. Like I legit, I was looking at my phone and I saw like it was close enough. Like hmm, if this is my head, it was close enough. Like it, it was this close. Like my head is representing my phone when I was looking at my phone. Okay. And that's how close the fairy was. So it's not like I had to like turn my head to look at it. Like I saw it right there. Like I was like looking and I was like, 
what was that? What was that? <laughs> I'm trying to demonstrate for you guys. But anyway, so it was very clear and I saw it looked like a little mini angel. And I confirmed with spirit that I saw it. So that was really cool. I do see spirits. I saw a spirit in my kitchen the other day. And then I was like, did I just see a spirit? And then the lights flickered to basically confirm that, yes, I did. I see a silhouette. And I know who it was. I had a conversation with her later on that night. <laughs> it was one of my main spirit guides. So anyway, so that was really cool. And what, the reason why I'm so excited about this reading is because the fairies are really excited about it and they want to talk to you guys. They want to give you messages. So I named it Merlin and the fairies magical wisdom for your twin flame or soul journey. And you know, it's connecting with the elemental kingdom and whatever just wisdom and insight that they want to bring through for you guys. And I hope that you guys are drawn to it because I'm excited about doing these readings, even though there's not an obvious purpose to it, but you know, like the wisdom that's going to come through is going to be amazing. So I'm excited. <laughs> Order it. <laughs> I also did a separate or I created a separate light worker star seed path and purpose reading. So that way, um, cause I have a soul path reading, but that can be like career oriented, um, just more 3d life oriented. And sometimes people just want to know about their like more spiritual mission. So I created a separate light worker star seed, um, path reading for that purpose. I added a bunch more healings too. Um, I realized that I wanted to create for the, some deep traumas. I created an, a narcissistic and emotional abuse healing. So I had still have the inner child healing, but now I also have a separate narcissistic and emotional abuse healing. I also have a separate now domestic violence and physical abuse and trauma healing. Um, because I, there's a little bit of distinction there. I mean, they probably could be mixed together, but I wanted to create some distinction since they're not exactly the same. I also created a PTSD trauma healing because I actually experienced something just um, a few weeks ago that made me realize I needed to do that too. Um, that I even need to do it for myself a little bit because I had something that happened. I, I received a text from someone who, um, when I hear from her, there tends to be bad news. And when I got her text, it triggered an anxiety response in me from PTSD of worrying that something was wrong. Nothing was wrong, but it triggered that response in me. And honestly, maybe the only reason it did that was Spirit's way of saying, hey, you need to do a PTSD one also. So I've also added a PTSD healing to my shop too. Then that, that focus is not going to be so much on the actual trauma that occurred, which that would fall under one of the other, um, well, you, we, we could do it for both. It could fall under one of the other categories or we could do it for that too. But it's uh, more so about the current effects from it, the anxiety reactions and that stuff, okay? So let me see if I'm missing anything. There's one more thing, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the last thing that I added was a holistic lifestyle coaching, which I mentioned that in my reading actually, because it just came up when, with one of the cards. And the holistic lifestyle coaching is specific for helping you navigate the ascension path and process and making upgrades to your life um, and your lifestyle to, uh, to accommodate that transition into crystalline um, energy. So that just helping you be healthier and, and more connected to spirit and source and living a holistic lifestyle, anything, honestly, anything that whatever you're drawn to in that aspect of that um, category. And let me just remind you guys also, a month ago, no, two months ago now, I also added that past life history and soul contracts reading, which I've done in several of those now that came out really amazing. They're way more involved than what I realized that they would be, meaning they take a lot longer for me to do, but that's because of you know how much spirit is, is bringing through when I'm, looking into the past lives. Like it takes me time to have conversations with spirit about that. So that one is also in my shop now too, if you're interested in that. Examining your present past lives and where you're headed um, and between your past life history and your soul contracts and the karmic cycles that go through all of them. So everything's on sale until for a week, until the second, June 2nd. And all that stuff is in my shop now check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Order the Merlin and the fairies reading because I'm so excited to do it. <laughs> okay, you guys. Talk to you soon.